and duly regard Allah, emphatically Allah is aware of what you are doing. Allah is watching us. Right? So, we know this, that we have to manage our emotions, that we have to, now there's nothing wrong, nothing wrong with emotions. I'm not going to tell you what I'm saying. All right, look, you can't have no emotions. You got to, no, we're not robots, we're human beings. The thing is that our intelligence, right, this is what Allah says in the Quran when he taught, he said, uh, 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 he taught Adam the name of things. Right? And then he asked the angels to name these things. The angels couldn't do it. Right? But the submission to the human being was because the human being was a little bit above the angels when it, came to, when it comes to intelligence. Right? So it's our intelligence coupled with the guidance of God that gives us success in life. So yes, the emotion has to be in the vehicle, but it's not in the driver's seat, it's in the passenger seat. Right? So if we're trying to calculate if we can beat that train, the emotion is going to say, hey, wait a minute. Even, you might beat it, and you might not. But even if you beat it, what, what's, what are you going to benefit from it? Right? So going back to this idea, there is a thought in the society that in order to bring back order from disorder, that the innocence must be sacrificed. Back to the picture of Satan, right? He said, Satan is thinking this is disorder. This is, this is all out of whack. This is all out of order, right? So in order to bring it back, what does he do? He attacks the innocent man in Adam. There's, the scripture gives this picture, right? But it, it looks at it, and I, I call this the whole nine yards, getting the full picture, right? So there's a nine Right? In scripture, in the Bible, right? It says that Christ Jesus was hung on the cross on, in the ninth hour. By the 11th hour, he was dead. On the ninth hour. What, but why did they hang him on the cross? Because he came talking about elevating the human being in the context in which the human, being, the human being was living. Be righteous to God. Right? Be kind to your neighbor. Be kind and help feed the poor and, and the downtrodden, right? But that was disrupting the order because the order was like, look, <laughs> they, have got, they got them to buy into the idea that you can oppress yourself now and don't worry, you're going to get yours in the next life. Oh, whoa, well, well, you know, the Pharisees, right? Well, you got yours right now, oh, but don't worry about that. You know, just, just be patient, and when you go to the next life, then everything you want, you will have it. Yeah, they believe people believe that. I had an uncle, right? And he had, all, he had rheumatoid arthritis. He had about four or five ailments. He's telling me this. I'm not, I'm not like looking at him judging, but he's telling me, oh, this hurt, this hurt, this hurt, this hurt. Right? And he was talking about how he loved to eat him some, some pork rinds and some, some hog mog and chillings. And I said, well, I said, wait a minute. Well, I said, my uncle, I was supposed to say this guy, but I'm hoping he won't listen to it. But, I said, wait a minute. I said, don't you think you might want to change your diet? If you, all these ailments? He said, oh, he said, I ain't worried about it because next life we're going to get new bodies. <laughs> right? So he's going to oppress himself, put himself in hell right now in the hopes of an Akira having eternal bliss. There's this thought right there, right? His body is innocent. Allah says that. The body is innocent. So they hung Jesus by the cross on the ninth hour. Crucified him. Innocent. No crime would they charge him with other than going against the established order. In order to bring order back, they figure we got to get rid of him. Sacrifice him. But that is not how it is. Allah gives us in nature. Al-Islam is a nature-based religion. It gives us in nature if we just observe and watch that on nine, the ninth month, right, what happens? We have the birth of the new child into the social order of man. Now, is this something bad? No. We don't have a birth of corruption. We don't have a birth of sin. We don't have the birth of, 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 of something that's coming to destroy life. No, this is the beautiful, wonderful miracle of God that is coming to bring hope, 
because every new child, every new birth that comes into the social order of man is on the pattern, on the filter of excellence, and that is hope for everyone who has no hope. They said the hope is coming back. That is faith. So this new birth comes into the, new, into the social order of man, and we celebrate it. So much so that we refer to it as angels. Yeah, we don't know. I've never seen nobody say, there, that little devil is here. You better not be talking about my child. <laughs> no, they are angels. Beautiful. Every child. That is the picture of what takes place. And we have it also in what's coming up on Hajj. The beautiful month of Hajj. The struggle to return back to that original nature. Right? Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said that of the ninth day of Hajj, Arafat, he said if you miss that, then you have missed Hajj. He said Arafat is the Hajj. And what happens on Arafat? Right? Arafat means to know. And what happens? You have leaders coming together in order to address the societal concerns. Everyone who's there is a leader. Why? Because nobody kidnapped you and took you to Hajj. You have to lead yourself to Hajj. And nobody here has a status or a position that we know of unless somebody say, I don't know if you're a king and you got a diaper on, and I got a diaper on too. I know you're a king or a business person. Everybody has the same position and status. This is what Allah is communicating to us. So no, I can't go out there and force you. I'm going I'm to I'm make you something. No. You can't do nothing more to me or for me than what God has done for me. Now you can assist and you can help, but you cannot make me. God made me already. So, <clears throat> in conclusion, God says that he has made honorable all the children of Adam. So let us continue to work and spread the message that our lives and the, success, and, and, and the success that we hope to have in our life is dependent upon God. And whether or not we allow for God, you want to say allow for God to guide us, right? God is not going anywhere. You can't crucify, you can't kill, destroy the word of God. It's going to always be that. That's why Allah says, no, they did not crucify or kill Christ Jesus. No. Why? Because he's a word from God, and you can't do that. The only thing you can do is abandon the word of God, reject it, leave, go towards something else, your own desires, your own machinations. That's it. But the word of God is still there, waiting for you to come back. That is the mercy. That is the blessing. So we, we pray that Allah continues to help us and to guide us and give us the strength to uphold the honor that he has created us in and to continue to value the life of not just, oh, uh, that, that's my Muslim brother, I love him. No, every human being, Allah says, he has honored. So we have to give that. When Allah says that you give the greeting, assalamu alaikum, you give one back that is just as good or better. That's our connection. Rabbana la tuzi kulubana ba'ada ith hadaytana wahablana min ladunka rahmatan inneka anta al wahab. Rabbana atina fi dunya hasanata wa fil akhirati hasanata wa qina adhabana. Rabbana takabbal minna inneka anta sami'ul alim. Our Lord, let not our hearts deviate. Now, after you have guided us, but grant us mercy from your own presence, for you are the granter of bounties without measure. Our Lord, grant us good in this world and good in the hereafter, and save us from the torment of the fire. Our Lord, accept from us, for thou art the all-hearing, the all-knowing. O oh, Lord, we cannot manage this life ourselves without you. Please make of our life what you want it to be, what you prefer it to be. Do not allow us to act on our own. Bless us to act only in accordance to your will. We hear and we obey. We ask for your forgiveness. Please forgive us. Amen. We come to Salah. No, no, no.
Rasulullah, Muhammad Rasulullah. Please make your line straight, then heart to heart, shoulder to shoulder. Allahu Akbar. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Ar Rahman Ar Rahim. Malik Yawm Al Din. Iyakan. <coughs> إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير مغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين وتين وزيتون وطوري سنين وهذا البلد الأمين لقد خلقنا الإنسان في أحسن تغوين ثم رددناه أسفل سافلين إلا الذين آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات فلهم أجر غير ممنون فما يكذبك بعد بالدين أليس الله بأحكم الحاكمين الله أكبر سمع الله لمن حمد الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير مغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين قل أعوذ برب الناس مالك الناس إله الناس من شار وسواس الخناس الذي يوسوس في صدور الناس من الجنة والناس الله أكبر سمع الله لمن حمده الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر السلام عليكم ورحمة الله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله سبحان الله الحمد لله الله أكبر. <تصفيق> <تصفيق> 